Now, welcome to my next bowl making video. I'm still jumping around in the book. I'm not even going to show you a picture of our next bowl because mine's not really going to look like hers. I have different material. I've had to scrounge material up for this one, but I did want to show you start off. This is the bowl I did last in the last video. That's the accent ring bowl. And uh, I've got a bunch of uh, seven coats of finish on that, I believe, hand wiped poly. Uh, I've only got a couple on the inside at this point. I'm still working on that. It's, it's kind of a slow process. So anyway, I wanted to show that. And, and there, there will be a link to that video if you hadn't seen it. But I wanted to show this one. This is the basket weave bowl. Because the procedure for making this plaid bowl is very similar to this one. You take the blank, a layered blank, and you put some uh, strips in it. So what I've got is... This is the, the basic blank for this. This has got uh, oak and walnut, uh, and there's, that's an unknown wood. That other one, it was in the second package, but it's right thickness, and it had the right color to get the contrast that I needed. And then I've got uh, four strips of the layer to the walnut in that unknown wood. It's a hard wood. Other than that, I'm not sure what it is because it wasn't labeled when I bought it. But it's right thickness and, and a, a, a color to give me the contrast I want. But in this video, we're going to cut this blank. And uh, you got four of these. You're going to cut it this way and then the, to the corners and glue these in the middle of the blank. And it'll just be a matter. There'll be no pattern. You're going to use the first ring for the, as a pattern for the second ring on down the line. Then you have an option at the end of either using the remainder of the blank as a base and she also, in hers, she used a thinner wood for a base. I've got the thinner wood, but I may use the rest of the blank. It depends on how well it looks, how these things cross in the center. That'll, I'll make that decision when I get to that point. So the first thing i got to do is cut this right with the grain, glue one of these in then do it one across the other way and then corner to corner so that's these four have to be glued in it takes a little while to get that done but I'm gonna get the exact center of that draw me a line take the scroll saw and cut it and glue the first one in and that'll be the first step so let me get started on that I'll, I'll draw me a line and cut it and I'll start gluing well I've made the first cut exactly half got four inches on each side this four was eight by eight piece originally and i've got this in there now i cut this on the scroll saw in the video in which i made this one uh, i cut it on the table saw i like the table saw it's a little more precise although i can cut pretty straight on it scroll saw it's not ever perfect so what i did i just cut it because it's a smaller curve i was going Make sure we didn't affect the size of the blank, uh, finished blank. So I took it and I just kissed the edges a little bit with the table saw, kind of did a little fine milling to make sure everything was as straight and straighter than I can cut by hand. And I think that's working real well. Uh, I got this tape here to kind of hold it in position the way I want it. It's, that blank had a very, very slight bow in it from overnight. I used so much glue on it. It kind of bowed it just a little bit, so I, I, I brought it up to make sure that joint kisses perfectly straight. Got a little bit thicker tape out on the ends, but as I cut it, and I, and I have to, then I'll, I'll put, I'll take that down with my spoke shave probably, and then sand it before I cut the next one. I'm gonna do that with each one. It's easier to make these a little larger to make sure you get flush to the top when you're finished. But as I do that, everything will smooth out and level out, and I'll level and sand it as I go. It's a very slight bow, so I think I can take care of it. And I got this little thicker tape here, like I say, to, to allow for that to glue this one piece. It'll be a different situation when I go across the other angles. But this is going to work for this piece, and I'm going to glue it right now, and then I'll work that down once the glue is set.
So I'm going to work on this side as the working side, according to her directions. To me, this is the bottom, and I always work on the top, but she's saying this side will work from. And I found the center. I'm going to draw a 7-inch circle on there, and then come in 3 eighths of an inch and draw another circle. I've got a new blade in it. I'm running a number seven. I've got the table set at 24 degrees, and that's what we're going to make these first two cuts, and then I'll see what we do. First, I'm going to make the south side cut, then I'll drill an entry hole and go in and cut the inside. Alright, I got an entry hole drilled at 28 degrees, and I'm 3 8 inch in, so we're going to cut this 3 8 inch ring at the same angle as the outside cut. Then we're going to take this, set it on the blank, and draw the next pattern. Well, I used our first ring set on the top. It matches up real nice outside. So I mark the inside of it, and that marks the cut for the next ring. Do the same thing with this one. There's only three rings, so we'll be uh, almost have enough to cuts here to make this bowl. So I repeated the process. Put that ring on top of the remaining blank. It lined up really nicely, too and drew my inner circle and this will be the last ring for this this bowl and it'll be gluing and sanding well it's all cut out uh, it matches up very nicely inside and outside side is going to be a minimum of sanding there's a few problems I see that I'm going to have to fix, but nothing major. That's basically what the bowl is going to look like. Now, my intent was using that walnut, when you put a finish on it, it stands out. I wanted more contrast than that, but hopefully it should stand out a little better and give me a little more uh, of an effect that you're supposed to have. So, anyway, that's basically the bowl. And I'm going to glue these three, I'm going to go through them and check them for alignment, see what sanding I need to do to get the surfaces matched up properly. And then I'm going to glue those three rings together and sand the inside.
Well, I got the three rings glued together. They lined up pretty well. I think I had one on the bottom that you got to slide those back and forth in certain ways to get them to line up. Sometimes it seems like it's impossible uh, to get exactly perfect, but they came apart, so they got to go back together the same. It's just a matter of getting the right combination. So anyway, I got that done. I'm going to mount up my little. Uh, I think I'm going to use my little cylinder sanders on my drill press. It's like a straight cylinder. And um, these are straight bowls, so I think that'll work real well on both inside and outside. So that's what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to start on this inside, match everything up, clean the glue out, and get the drill holes out. So I'll check back in a little bit as things go. If there's something I need to point out or talk about, I'll show it to you. I've got the inside matching up pretty good. I can see where I didn't line it up perfectly. Some of them are lined up real well, but a few of them got a little bit off, but it's not real noticeable. I drew me a little circle there to so I could compare the bottom of that bowl and give me a reference. It's not perfectly round, but I got it pretty close. I got it better than it was. So now I'm going to glue the base on. and. Uh, I've, all, I've got to put a reference on it. When I sand it, I'm going to round it off properly. And I'm going to glue that on, and uh, then we'll sand the outside of it. Well, I think I've just about got it where I want it. Still got a little bit of finishing, fine finishing sanding. Um, I think I'm going to raise the grain on it and uh, sand it again. Then I'll put some wipe on poly. I think that'll really bring that walnut out and make this pattern stand out thin. Right now it's a little dull. Hopefully I can brighten it up a little bit. Let me continue with that and we'll see what I can make it look like. Well, I'm going to call that finished for now. I have two coats, wipe on poly on the exterior, one coat on the interior. I will put more, but it takes several days to get that done. And uh, I need to get this up now. So basically I want to do that because I wanted to see if that uh, walnut would pop out, and it did. It's got the pattern it's supposed to have. And I'm somewhat pleased with it, although it's not the best effort I've ever made. Uh, been running behind this week. I'm a day behind what I should be right now. Because I totally blew another project I started. I did the fatal mistake. I'm not going to get into that right now. So I had to shift gears. And then I had to scrape up some material I really didn't want to use for this bowl. But I thought I'd try it. And it, it worked, except that uh, it didn't glue together as well as it should in some places. I'll tell you the main problems I had with this was it was trying to delaminate in these, in some of these areas where it was glued together. And I had some gaps showing here in some of these areas. In fact, there was one right there and one right there. Probably can't see it on camera, I hope not. But uh, there were several of those through there. And so what I did as I was sanding, I just rubbed some uh, glue into the little crack. And then when I sanded, it filled it with sawdust. So that kind of helped glue it together, plus it filled the little void. And, but uh, So I managed to save this in spite of some either improper gluing or some bad material. I'm not sure exactly which. It was seconds material. Uh, not sure what wood it is, to tell you the truth. That little, little thing right in there. It looks actually looks like oak from the side, but it's not oak. It's not near that hard. This is oak. And this is walnut, and you can see even there's two different shades of walnut, although they came off the same board, but it still works. And that's the pattern I was looking for. I may revisit this with some really nice material someday, because I like the way this works, I like the way it looks. It's not that difficult to do, but I didn't do a real good job of building the blank. Uh, when I did one like this before, the uh, basket weave bowl, I made the cuts that put these in with the table saw. 
Well, she uses a scroll saw, so I said, well, I'll use a scroll saw this time. It's a smaller kerf. And so I, I cut all those with a scroll saw, and the first two, first one worked real well. I had four of them. Uh, but then you got to kind of sand it, and actually the, kissed it through the table saw a little bit, like I said earlier, and kind of milled it a little bit, make sure it's straight and flat. And so the others... And we're at a 45 degree angle. I went to the uh, sander and sanded them. Well, I didn't get it, even though I put my my little tool on it to see if it was square. It showed to be square, but obviously it wasn't. I had a little bit of a gap running right there, which I filled with some walnut sawdust. So anyway, I managed to get to this project and it looks okay, but I, to me it's not ideal but the pattern worked. I made the pattern work with a few exceptions. A couple of those lines aren't exactly lined up, but for the most part, they look good. So anyway, that's this week's bowl. And like I said, I may come back and revisit this one with some better material because I really like this pattern. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do next week yet. I'm, I'm kind of... Uh, got mixed up with messing up my last project so I may have to go back and revisit it but for now this is the, this week's bowl video I hope you enjoyed that hope you like it if you do hit the like button and stay tuned and I'm going to do some more I don't know how much further the series is going to go but I see some things in there in that book that I want to try so thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video